Hi guys, it's me again, Christophe from Logobox. It's been a while that you have seen another book review of uh, yeah my book collection. Now the reason for that is because I was busy with the Kickstarter campaign, which you might be aware of. Unfortunately, the campaign didn't end successfully, but I will create a separate video on that to keep you guys updated on the project. But as for this video, you can already see it, I am going to show you guys the new book featuring the work of the Polish designer Karol Szlika. Probably the most famous or most known Polish designers, although not a lot of people know him. And I think that is a reason why this book can be interesting for you. So you guys might learn to know a new designer and I might be able to introduce you to a new kind of work. So a bit more information on this book. Um, the book was published together with an exhibition which was running in Poland. This book is a summary of um, the work that was displayed during that exhibition. So as you can see here I am breaking down the book or at least the cover. So it exists out of three pieces, the sleeve, the book itself of course, and this poster-like sheet which was folded around the uh, book. What I find a bit a shame is that although the book looks very nice when it's wrapped up in this sheet of paper but as you can see here um, in the corners where the book was uh, where the piece of paper was folded you see quite some damage which make this um, yeah sheet not very usable as a poster um, you see here the lines where it was bent uh, where the spine was or is so that's a bit of a shame, but besides that, it's it's a nice addition and gives a nice, neat overview of uh, Slivka, his work. The cover has a personal logo of Karol Slivka embedded in it. It's just an, an oval with a dotted pattern um, here on the spine, the name of Karol Slivka and on the back um, nothing at all. What is remarkable is of course the purple color. I have no idea why this color was chosen. Uh, it's not mentioned in the book. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why the purple color was chosen. The book contains quite an amount of text. Um, for example, written by the brother of Karl Schlivka. His brother is called Pavel. Of course, text by Patrick Hardzi, the designer of the book and uh, of the exhibition, Martin Witscher, Sean Walcott and Jens Müller, which is probably most known for his book Logo Modernism. What is um, written in the textual part throughout the entire book actually, it's more like a biography of uh, Slivka, how he lived during his youth. What surprised me was when I read that uh, Slivka lost sight, uh, I'm not sure if he, if he lost his entire eye or not, but he definitely lost sight on one eye uh, while he was demining a landmine uh, when he was 13 years old. So he lived during the period of war uh, and he unfortunately lost sight on one eye. Knowing that, it's pretty amazing um, that Karol Schliuka made it as such a great and important designer for his country. The interesting thing about this book is that it shows the work of Karol Schliuka from start until, yeah, let's say now. This, for example, are pieces of yeah, elements or illustrations that Slivka got it out of newspapers while he was still a kid and he collected them and during the years he started to draw. It gives a visual history of, um, of his work, a chronological uh, history in some sort of way. I would also like to note that the quality of the book is very good. Um, it's a beautiful book. You can see the layout is very nice. Um, the paper is 
also very nice very subtle um, feels very very well um, the size of the book is very nice as well this is a very well crafted book um, that's all that I can say about it it's a hardcover nice linen finishing beautiful colors beautiful printing so yeah absolutely nothing uh, nothing negative on that as a conclusion I can say that this book is a great book especially if you're looking for work from a designer more specifically a polish designer who isn't that known but who made very very beautiful and iconic work especially in poland if you're looking for a book that gives you tips or insights in how uh, yeah a logo should be designed or if you're looking for thoughts on design and then this is not what you're looking for all in all as a biographic book it's beautiful print quality beautiful you definitely won't regret uh, buying this one if you are looking and if you're interested in discovering new work from yeah great and talented designers